Hello everyone, thank you for watching this Java programming tutorial for beginners on hash sets. The hash set class is a member of the Java Collections framework. We can use it within our program by typing import java.util.hashset semicolon. Hash set is an implementation of the set interface and set extends collection. A collection in Java is an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. Collections usually represent data items that form a natural group such as a classroom roster, which would be a collection of students' names. A set is a collection that does not contain duplicate elements. Hash set is an implementation of the set interface and uses a hash table for storage. Let's start out by creating a new hash set. Within your main method, type hash set, the less than sign, string, then the greater than sign. String is the type of data that you will store within the hash set. Let's name the hash set class set, then type the equal sign and new hash set string. Open and close parentheses. Now let's use the add method of hash set to add strings to our hash set. Let's say these are the names of students in a class. Type class set dot add and within parentheses Julia Kate. Class set dot add and within parentheses the string Ava Jane. On the next line class set dot add Jason Charles. Now let's print our hash set to the console. System.out.println and within parentheses class set. Now run the program. On the console you can see all of the strings within our hash set separated by commas. Now let's print out each element within our hash set to a separate line on the console by using the iterator class. Underneath where we imported the hash set class, type import java.util.iterator. Using the iterator we can traverse through the hash set. Type iterator string iterator then the equal sign class set dot iterator open and close parentheses. Now we will create a while statement. While and our expression to evaluate which is going to be iterator dot has next open and close parentheses has next is a method within the iterator class which returns true if the hash set has more elements and within curly braces we're going to type system dot out dot print ln the string name colon space plus Iterator dot next open and close parentheses. While class set has more elements, this method will print out the string name colon and the next element within the hash set. The next method simply returns the next element in the iteration. See how it works by running your program. Now I want to demonstrate how hash sets will not accept duplicate values and unlike arrays, hash sets do not have a set length, so you may add additional elements to a hash set. Let's create a second hash set underneath our first one. Hash set string new to class the equal sign new hash set string open and close parentheses. On the next line, new to class dot add and the string Ava Jane then new to class dot add and the string Zachary Silas. Let's say that Ava Jane was a recent addition to your class and another person inputting this data does not realize that she has already been added. So they list Ava Jane and Zachary Silas as new students. Ava Jane cannot be listed in our hash set twice. To demonstrate this, we will add all of the elements from new to class to class set using the add all method of hash set class set dot add all within parentheses new to class 
system.out.println within parentheses new to class. Now when we run our program we can see that Ava Jane is only listed once and Zachary Silas has been added to our class set. Now let's say that Julia Kate has graduated from our class but we don't know if she's still on our roster so we will check to see if she is first and if so we will remove her. Under the line of code that reads class set dot add all new to class add the following code if and within parentheses class set dot contains the string Julia Kate and then open and close curly braces within that write class set dot remove Julia Kate now when we run our program we can see that Julia Kate is no longer within our hash set. Thank you for watching this Java programming tutorial on hash sets. Please subscribe to my channel Bootstrap CSS Girl.